finally, one more thought. The last of the conglomerates. There was a time not so terribly long ago when conglomerates were all the rage. Think Harold Janine of ITT, Gulf and Western, Linton Industries, many of which grew up and then died away. But then there was GE, the biggest of them all. It lasted the longest. When we had Jack Welch take what was a light bulb company founded by Thomas Elva Edison in the 19th century and expand it, expand it to television and motion pictures and most of all into finance. He took a company that had revenues about $26 billion a year to $130 billion a year. The market cap went up over $450 billion. That was the largest in the world at the time. But trees don't grow to the sky and neither did GE. Jack Welch moved on, we had Jeff Immelt take his place, and during his tenure, we took what had been the gold standard for corporate America and turned it into something of a turnaround. And in the end, even Jeff Immelt couldn't quite explain why that had happened. We had, uh, through multiple recessions, we had uh, really generated record earnings and cash flow. We had good businesses, good people, good initiatives, but at the end of the day, the stock price lagged. So three and a half years ago, the GE board turned to Larry Culp, the former CEO of Danaher, to sort things out. Larry came in and pretty much threw out the playbook of Jack Welch. He pruned, he focused on cash flow and debt reduction, and he just plain focused overall. It all came to a head this week when Larry Culp announced that he would break up the company into three parts, healthcare, power, and aviation. These businesses will be more focused. There'll be a higher, greater level of accountability. We should have sharper capital allocation, more strategic flexibility. And frankly, I think it's going to be good for the team as well. So is this the end of conglomerates? Nicholas Heyman of William Blair echoed Larry Culp, who said it really is more important to focus today rather than go for those synergies across different businesses. It's much more important to have uh, really 110% uh, focus on one end market and set of customers because things are changing so structurally and so rapidly that um, you really can't be burdened by having to wait for another part of the company to come around. While Jerry Davis of Michigan Ross School thinks that there may still be room for conglomerates when it comes to tech. Anybody think of Amazon? There is a future for conglomerates, but it's in the IT sector. If you look at big tech companies like Alphabet, uh, like Facebook, they really are conglomerates. In some sense, they are hearkening back to the conglomerate that GE was at its birth. But if you listen to Larry Culp himself, it's not about the form. It's not whether it's a conglomerate or not a conglomerate. In the end, it's about getting the job done. It's ultimately about performance, right? I've, I've been in companies where we did a number of things under one roof. So I, I've seen it from a number of different angles. But ultimately, it's all about looking forward and being in a position to perform. And I think for GE today, on three separate bottoms, we'll be at our best.